Good evening, ladies and gentlemen from Weasel News. My name is Master Deputy Olson. I am the Assistant Commanding Officer of the Sheriff's Information Division. Uh, today with me is Captain Grois, the Commanding Officer of the Sheriff's Investigation Bureau, and Assistant Sheriff McCornish. Uh, today we're going to be speaking on the events that unfolded today, um, as well as what uh, led to them. Uh, please save any questions for the end. Um, but without saying anything else, I'm going to let uh, Captain Grois uh, start off with uh, what kind of started all of this. Captain? Of course. Hello there, I'm Captain Garrett Grois, the Santos County Sheriff's Department. Uh, on the date of 20th of May 2022, the Gangs and Narcotics Division, in conjunction with the Detention and Parole Bureau and the Special Enforcement Detail, conducted a raid in the Del Piero area. Now, during this raid, we uncovered several illegal narcotics, drug manufacturing devices, paraphernalia. The suspect was promptly arrested afterwards and transported to the Polito Station for legal questioning and uh, promptly transported to the Department of Corrections to serve their sentence. Now, it was to our understanding afterwards that this would be it and the suspect wasn't going to be any other issues, but they seemed to take complaint to the fact that we raided their property. They wanted to get a sense of payback. It wasn't until today on the 21st of May that they decided to take a stand against us and use the commissioner as a bargaining chip, a way to get access to myself and uh, members of the Sheriff's Investigations Bureau as a form of payback and revenge. Now, that's all I'm really allowed to disclose on the matter at the moment, so I'll hand it off to Assistant Sheriff McCornish. Thank you, Captain Gray. Hello, my name is uh, John McCornish. I'm Assistant Sheriff with the Sheriff Department. Uh, about three and a half hours ago, myself and my partner, Captain Noah Carlal, were simply patrolling in the uh, Dancing Disco store area. We stopped for a brief moment to grab some water. As we were pulling out of the parking lot, a vehicle passed heading from Polito to the Red Oaks tolls with absolutely no lights on. Uh, once he was past the tunnel, we uh, simply pulled him over for a regular traffic stop. Uh, when we moved closer to the vehicle, we started hearing some banging coming from the trunk. Extra units were called in as this is uh, usually leading to somebody being trapped in there. Once the extra units got there and we asked the person to leave the vehicle, he turned his engine back on and fled away from us following a short pursuit. Uh, he was ultimately stopped. It's where we recovered uh, Commissioner Langley, uh, detained in the back of the vehicle. Uh, following that, the person evaded a bit more from us and was ultimately uh, arrested, interrogated, and then uh, brought to the UC. Pretty much sums up uh, how we recovered Commissioner Langley. Anything else you guys want to add? Yep. The main takeaway from this is that these criminals, they committed a heinous act today. They attempted to disturb the peace that we are uh, having in Los Santos. They attempted to use another man's life, a bargaining chip, as a golden ticket to get what they want. And these heinous acts have been punished accordingly, and he's been charged, and he will. this individual will be in DOC, serving their sentence. Justice has been served today, and the Los Santos Sheriff's Department will continue to serve justice today and onward. So the judicial branch, uh, after everything happened, uh, Commissioner Langley was, uh, you know, safely transported back to the city to, uh, to Mission Row by the members of the Sheriff's Department. Uh, I met with him shortly after, after I uh, got called about what happened. Um, I, I had uh, some conversations with uh, Commissioner Langley and uh, Commissioner Osborne flew in from Mexico due to the situation. Um, after speaking with both of them, members of the Los Santos Police Department and Los Santos Sheriff's Department, um, myself and Commissioner Langley uh, decided it was best to um, begin uh, seizing and searching uh, some properties to put a dent in the operations of the criminal organization that was believed to be behind, uh, or not believed to be behind, that was behind these, uh, these heinous acts. Uh, because of this situation, um, the commissioner's office and the office of the justice signed off on 
four uh, warrants to search properties um, that were known to be possessed by this criminal organization. Um, inside uh, two of them, uh, we found um, illegal uh, operations. And due to that, we decided to seize two of those properties. Uh, all in all, as you guys already know, uh, we believe that uh, we have seized around four million or three million in assets from the criminal organization to put a dent in their operations uh, for the foreseeable future. Um, hi, I'm Emily Whitehorse. I'm not a PR person. I can't comment on most government things. I can simply clarify um, some of the things the sheriff said. Um, and yeah, um, at the time he was not actively uh, acting as a commissioner. He was off duty. Um, he did not at the time have a security detail. We are in the process of, um, as a result of this event, uh, creating a security uh, team at City Hall uh, due to this incident. Um, and um, yeah, that's that's pretty much everything I can cover is that we're creating a security team and that all City Hall employees have been asked not to leave the building unless they are accompanied by our security detail.